Hello everyone. So in the last session, we have seen how we can check out the code from the multiple SCMs using single Jenkins job, and that we have seen using the multiple SCM plugin in the Jenkins. Okay. So that time I have told you that same we can do with the pipeline script. Okay. So pipeline script can be used to check out the code from multiple SCM, but we can do lots of things with this pipeline script. Okay, Jenkins pipeline script. So before we look at how we can do this with the pipeline script, let us uh, learn some basic about the Jenkins pipeline first, and then we will see a basic example and basic syntax of the Jenkins pipeline script. Jenkins pipeline allows you to define the entire software delivery process. Okay, in the code that includes building the code means building the project, then testing that project. Okay, and deploy it on your environment. So all this process will be automated and handled by the Jenkins. So all uh, we have to do is to write the pipeline script only as per our requirement. That's it. Okay. So in Jenkins pipeline script, what exactly it contains? It contains the different stages. Okay. And each stage will contain different actions to be performed in that particular stage. Okay. For example, I have one stage for including uh, for building my project. Then another stage I will have for testing. The next stage I will have for deployment. So basically, the pipeline script will contain different stages, and different stages will contain different actions to be performed, and all these stages will be uh, executed one after another. Okay, so one stage complete, then another stage will start, then next stage will start like this. Okay, so let us see one uh, basic example for this Jenkins pipeline script. So I have created a simple diagram for Jenkins uh, pipeline basic example. So this looks like a pipeline. That's why we called it as a Jenkins pipeline. So as you can see here, this is the pipeline, and it contains different stages. Okay. So for now, I have created a stage one, then stage two, stage three, up to stage five. So all these stages will be executed one after another. Okay. So for instance, for stage one, let's say I am going to check out my code. Okay. So in any software company, we need to build the project. Okay, so for building the project, first I need to check out the code from the GitHub or GitLab. Okay, so I will include that action in my stage one to check out the code. Okay, so this is my stage one. Then once stage one is completed, once code is checked out from the GitHub, then I need to compile that code first. Okay, so that I can include in the stage two. So in this stage, in stage two, I am going to compile my code. So once compilation is completed and successful, then I need to run some unit level test cases. Okay, unit level test cases. So this is my stage three. So I will have some unit level test cases that will be executed in the stage three. So now unit level test cases are executed and passed and successful. Then I will going to create the build of that project. Okay, using Maven or any other tool, you can create the build of your project once unit level test cases are completed. So that I can do in the stage four. So once stage four is completed, that means I got the build. I need to deploy this build on different environment. So that action I will perform in my stage five, right? So this is the deploy action. I have just shown uh, the basic example of your uh, software development process. First, we will check out the code. Then we will compile the code. Then run the unit load test cases. Once it is passed, then I will create the build of the project, and then I will deploy to different environment. Okay. So let's say my Different stages I will have after the stage five. Let's say I am going to deploy it on the staging area. Once deployment is successful, and then I am going to run my automation test cases. That means I am going to perform the testing, right? Once staging is done, testing is done, then I am going to deploy to EVT environment. Okay, so that will be my next stage, right? And once deployment is successful, then again I am going to perform some automation test cases over there. Okay, so once automation is executed and successful, then I am going to deploy it to the prod. Okay, so all these actions you can see we are performing different actions in each stage, and this process will be automated and will be handled by the Jenkins itself. Okay, so all we have to do is to write the script to handle and add the stages and actions in each stage. Okay, and that's why we called it as a Jenkins pipeline, and we need to write the Jenkins pipeline script and then run it. Okay, so next thing is how we can write the Jenkins pipeline script. Okay, so for that purpose, you should know the basic syntax how we create the Jenkins pipeline script. So this is the basic syntax for the Jenkins pipeline script. So that script will uh, start with the pipeline. Okay, and that will end here. So whatever you have to write, uh, you need to write in this curly bracket only.
okay and that will be considered as a uh, jenkins pipeline script so it will start with the pipeline then curly bracket then here is the agent okay that means on which machine you are going to execute this pipeline okay so in your uh, jenkins you can have different nodes right different machine different nodes so you can use any, uh, any agent for this purpose then we are going to use different tools for uh, uh, running this pipeline for example i need the maven tool for running my maven project right so that tool you can include over here and then here we'll start the stages okay so this is the stages then curly bracket and that will end here okay so inside this uh, two curly brackets we can have multiple stages okay so this is my stage one right it is ending here and in each stage you can have different steps okay step means what action i need to perform in this particular stage and that i can give inside this curly bracket okay so this is the stages and then i will have multiple stages and each stage will contain the steps to perform so using this uh, basic syntax of the jenkins pipeline script let's try to create the script for the example that we have seen in this diagram okay so we will just create a simple pipeline script so that uh, you will understand it better so pipeline will start okay and it ends here then i will have agent any agent then tools let's say i am going to use the maven right and uh, here i will provide where my maven is available okay so let's say maven home okay so this is the variable i have already created it will be uh, available in my jenkins okay so that i will show you practically as well don't worry then stages will start here so my first stage is let's say stage one and that is my uh, check out the code right so i will write here this is my stage one then steps so what action i need to perform i need to get the code form okay so command to get the code from the github that command i will provide over here this is my stage one then this is my let's say stage two and here i am going to compile the code okay i am going to compile the code similarly i can add this uh, script for the different stages for the stage three stage four and stage five so like this i can add the stages for running the unit level test cases and uh, stage four for creating the build of the project okay so all we have to do is to write the uh, command over here to run the test cases for creating the build of the project depending upon uh, you are running on the uh, linux machine or windows machine like that okay so what are uh, stages we have in the jenkins pipeline over here we have created a basic jenkins pipeline for that purpose so like this i can have uh, multiple stages as per my requirement under these stages okay so first stage one will execute then once it is done then stage two will execute once it is completed and then stage three and then stage four and so on okay so if you get any error or any failures in any of the stages then you can have the failure block as well in the script okay for example for any stage if you get some failure for any reason if any stage fails then i can perform different actions in that uh, failure case for example for uh, while creating the build of the project i got some issue okay so build failed so in that case i can send the email to my team member that build failed on the jenkins like that so they will be notified immediately once any stage is failed so try to remember uh, this diagram this diagram will definitely help you in the interviews and let me know if you don't uh, understand anything from this okay thank you